Well, a very good evening from Phuket and tonight I've brought you down into Phuket town and we're going to be taking a look at the grocery market. Now in Phuket town of a weekend there's actually three markets that take place. I've already covered the Sunday market which is classed as the walking street Sunday night market. This market that we're going to look at tonight is a fairly new addition to Phuket Town's market. It's not been going that long, but it takes place on both Saturday and Sunday and actually Tuesdays evenings as well. So this is a good alternative if you're coming into Phuket Town and you're not coming in on a Sunday. Of course, the Talang Market or the Walking Street Market is very, very well known here. Very popular, but it only takes place on a Sunday. So what do you do if you come on a Saturday? Well, this is one alternative. There is actually another market which I will be taking a look at in a few weeks time and of course that is Nakar market, a very very well known market here in Phuket but there has been a lot of changes to Nakar market so we'll talk about those on that actual video but for now let's go across the road and take a look at the Phuket grocery market. Okay, now for those who don't know where this is I should put all the details down in the description. As you can see the grocery superstore just there in front. This is a fairly new addition to Phuket Town. It's a large supermarket, of course, but outside the supermarket, they also have the grocery market, which is quite interesting. It's got a section where you can buy clothing from, a section that sells a lot of food. Inside the actual supermarket itself, there's a lot of smaller shops in there. There's uh, pet shops and there's, um, KFC in there, there's also Pizza Hut and various other shops, a lot of phone shops, so you can get phones fixed, you can buy new phones, they sell cases. Now I may have to put my mask on in a minute, so apologies if the sound is a little bit muffled, but there is uh, quite a few people around, so I'm going to ask Nat, 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 can you just hold this for a second while I pop my mask on? Okay, that's done. So out of respect for other people, I've just popped my mask on and then Nat's just having a, a quick look there at some of the clothing. So we're going to have a wander around outside and make our way round because it loops all the way around the back. And this is actually quite a popular little market. And there is the entrance or one of the entrances to the supermarket. The main entrance is just down a little way. So you can go in that way and there's a large, I'm not gonna be able to go inside with the camera because filming supermarkets, you need permission. Actually, it says on the, the doors there, there is a sign that you're not allowed unless you get permission. So inside there, there's lots of little places, shops, and then of course, the main supermarket. So I'm not gonna push my look because there's got security sitting there and he probably will stop me and my setup, you can clearly see I'm filming. Uh, just here, there's also a few small kiosks they do mobile cases and all screen protectors and all sorts of things and a mixture of shops and then we've got bags lots of choice there so it's quite an interesting market to come and take a look around as an alternative to the Sunday market of course if you come in on a Saturday the Sunday market's not going to be open but if you come in on a Sunday then of course you've got a choice of the Walking Street market and this market and the Nakar market which is also on of a weekend Saturdays and Sundays so plenty of choice when it comes to markets here in Phuket Lots of little clothing stores. Nat loves it down here, as you've already seen. She easily gets sidetracked. A little bit busy down here. So as you can see, lots of different choices when it comes to clothing. It looks like Nat's looking for jeans. Some very good prices down here as well. Quite a good alternative. And that is the main entrance into Phuket Grocery and the large supermarket there, which is one of a few that we have on the island of Phuket. We have Lotus, which originally was Tesco's Lotus Tesco, but it's no longer owned now by the T Tesco group. It's been taken over by somebody else. They've sold it over here and it's just called Lotus now. And then we have the large, super cheap supermarkets as well. And of course, Big C, not forgetting Big C. 
Ooh. Now, I normally buy some pastries from a little stall down here, but you can see they've got a great choice when it comes to dessert. Sweaty cap. And some nice desserts there. Very, very nice. Especially these chocolate ones. They look really nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Very nice. Fancy we'll trying one of those. I might come back in a minute. Yeah, I don't know where. Nat's looking at clothes. <laughs> She's over there looking again, huh? 50 baht. Okay, up to you. And then we've got some waffles, are they? Waffles, you call them? Oh, I forget what you call them. Yeah, waffles. So different choices on the waffles, 10 baht each. We've got some different style chicken, Korean style chicken, I think this is. And then the pastry shop, my favorite shop there. Now, the, these people also have a stall at Chilver Market as well. So I normally buy some pastries. Is it this one? No, sorry, this is the donut shop. I'm getting confused. The pastry shop's further down. That's if it's here tonight. It doesn't look like it's here, to be honest. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm just, yeah, it's normally here. So they haven't come tonight. That's a bit of a shame. The pastry shop's not here tonight. The pastry shop that I normally buy the pastries from. It's not here. It's normally there, isn't it? I'm going to have to try some of these cakes. We'll try these then. So, we're going to go back to this stall here. And I'm going to try some of these. So, I think I'm going to have uh, one of those and one of those. I think. Yeah, I'll have, you're gonna, you having any or not? I'll have one of them and one of them. And then I think, let's try something else. They got banoffee here, Nat. I know you like banoffee, if you want banoffee. Um, chocolate mousse. Yeah, I'll have one of those as well, that'll do. Try, try the chocolate mousse. So we'll try a few of these. I haven't tried this stall before, but it looks good. Nat looks like she's having the, the banoffee there. You're buying for who? Quan. Okay, she's buying for a friend that's got the shop across from the salon as well. <laughs> Disappointed about the pastry shop, I must admit. But those are a bargain, 10 baht each. Wow, fantastic. Excellent. Looks really nice, they do. The Oreo. Um, is that the Lion Bar? Might be a Lion Bar, I'm not quite sure. Kit Kat. And then they've got some fruit ones. Coconut, is it, that one? Okay. So that'll be interesting. We'll try a few of these, 10 baht each. Be nice. Disappointed that there's no pastries for tomorrow morning. I normally have them for breakfast. The first time it's not been down here, actually, the pastry shop. It's normally down here. So a little bit disappointed. Perhaps it's over at Chilver. Of course, Chilver Market, another well-known market here in Phuket, and one that I highly recommend. If you haven't visited Chilver Market, then go and check that market out. It's a great market. Have a look in my older videos. I have covered it, and I shall cover it again, of course, at some point in the future, but just not yet a while. Another very, very good market. Great atmosphere at Chilver, and lots of choice there as well. So we're just gonna wait for Nat to Pay for all the goods. Oh, big bag. Okay. Oh, got some goodies there for later. Huh? Okay, so she's give you one free as well. Excellent. So there you go. If you buy a few, the lady might even chuck a few freebies in. Now we're coming into the more main food area, which is just down here. We've got some tables and chairs where you can sit. They normally have live entertainment on as well. So it's a nice alternative if you don't want the busyness of the walking street market on a Sunday. Of course, today is Sunday, so that market is on. We've got some more stalls here, earrings, etc. Watches, bags, quite a good choice, really. going to have to be very careful with the camera because it does get a little bit narrow down here. So what have we got here? We've got some, uh, some pork noodles, crispy pork there, mushrooms, some nice dishes there. And you can see the prices, 
I'm not going to try and translate it because I, can't, I don't read Thai. So, but you can see the sort of price is 50 baht, nothing above 70 baht on there. It's a very, very reasonable, great place if you want to save a bit of money and come down the market, have something to eat. I eat quite regular down here, me and Nat do, on either a Tuesday evening, our day off, or sometimes of a weekend. It just depends on what we're doing. But I really like it down at this particular market because it's not overcrowded. It can get busy, as I say, but it's not like the walking street market. Sometimes you just can't walk anywhere there. It's so busy. Got some eggs there. Nat's still looking at the clothing. And this is another favorite stall of mine. These corn dogs, I guess you call them, and they're filled with cheese and hot dogs. and Oh, they're just delicious. No, I'm still a little bit full from earlier. Um, these corn dogs are 25 for the hot dog corn version, or you can have sausage and cheese, which is 39, and then they do a solid cheese one, which is 49. So it's basically like cheese all coated in breadcrumbs, and they are really, really delicious. I normally have one of those, but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna have yet, because I'm still full from the burger that I had at lunchtime. As you can see, massive, massive choice. Love the Thai markets. What are you looking at, Nat? No, I have already. Uh, these are the older banknotes, aren't they? Yeah, these are banknotes from years ago. They're getting very collectible now, some of the Thai banknotes. Yeah, Nat's saying she's got some of the older 1000s. The Thai, the Thai people believe the older banknotes, if you can get hold of them, it brings you luck if you have some of them. Nat normally carries a few older ones in her purse. Even though she can't use them, she just thinks they're going to bring her luck. And then some cactus here. Some cactus there. What are you having to eat, Nat? Oh, this, this is the, the fish cakes, Thai curry fish cakes, yeah? Nat likes these, she normally has these. Oops, got to watch the cables. No, I'm okay. I've got enough t-shirts for Socran. I don't think there'll be that much going on at Socran. I hope I'm wrong. I'm going to be out, of course, with my cameras, but I'm going to be using a different camera this time to what I normally use because, of course, I need a waterproof camera just in case. I can't afford my equipment to get wet and it'll be ruined, so I'm going to have to use a different camera. But I shall be out with the cameras doing some filming over Socran. More phone shops, phone cases, plenty of choices when it comes to phone accessories. I'm going to wait for Nat a second. He's getting distracted tonight a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a little bit busy gets very busy this section does with the food and it's not very wide as well so with a camera you have to be a bit careful because I've got a few cables and different things running off my setup I've got to be careful people don't knock lots of fried stuff on offer as always delicious tasting but not very healthy unfortunately huh ah the pastry shops moved is this the one okay so they've they've tried to catch me out tonight because they're in a different place to where they normally are, but this is the pastries. Okay, I really like these ones, these mini uh, croissants with the caramel over at the top, and then also these Danish ones as well with the nuts and the, the fruit. Is this the same one, Nat? Yeah, it's the same. So I'm gonna have one of those, please. And I'm gonna have one of these, and I'm gonna have one of the caramel croissants. I normally have three, and that's for my breakfast tomorrow with a nice cup of coffee, that will be really delicious. And of course they do the pizza version ones, they've got crab stick ones, normal croissants, a few little cakes, and uh, custard bread I think that is as well, custard bread buns, I'm not quite sure. And they've got the chocolate buns as well, 
So quite a good choice. Okay, I'm gonna let Nat sort that out while I have a look at what else is on offer. More fried food here. I'm not quite sure what's in these pots here, but I can feel the heat coming off them. Oh my God, wow, those are seriously warm. Don't know what's in there, but I can feel the heat. Okay, and that's sort of sorted the payment out. And now we shall carry on down here. It's not a massive market here, but there is a very good choice. These look like Thai, Thai dessert. They're, they're what? They're what? Oh, they're Japanese, are they? Okay, I don't, I don't quite know what these are. Swadikab. I've not seen these before. So, what have we got here then, Nat? That's, I can see durian fruit. Yeah, salted egg, is that? Yeah. Salted egg, by the looks of it. I'm, they've got Nutella. No, no. <laughs> he thinks I'm ordering at the minute. I'm just trying to save for the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I'm just having a look. Okay, cup and cap. Okay, and they've got Thai, Thai tea one as well. I wonder what they are. I might have to try those. Might come back and get a few of those. And then we've got some skewers, meat skewers, barbecue stuff, sweaty car, 10 baht, all these ones. Very good prices here. Lots and lots of choice. Okay. Try and dive across here and try and get into the filming. Sorry, Cab. See him there, very, very busy cooking all those chickens. Are they ch is it chicken or is it pork? Yeah, chicken. Chicken. Teriyaki chicken, I think the guy's saying. No pork. And then lots of choice here. This is one of my favourites as well. The spicy fruits, these are delicious, but sometimes can be a little bit spicy with the chili on, but really, really nice. I like those. Great choice here. I mean, everywhere I'm looking, there's food, food and more food. <laughs> more chicken. Coconut milk shakes there or the coconut smoothies, as they're called out here. They are delicious, we normally have one of those. 30 baht. Okay, Nat. <laughs> I've got to be careful that I don't knock somebody with the camera. Orange, oh, ho, ho, kebab. So if you don't want Thai food, you don't have to have Thai food down at the markets. There's a lot of Western food now appearing at the markets. So there's a good choice. If you're not into Thai food or you just fancy a change, whatever the case may be, you will find Western food down at the markets as well. Not just all Thai stuff. But of course, a great place to sample some of the Thai food. Here, oh, meat, meat-tastic. Meat, meat, meat-tastic. Now these, I particularly like these. These are filled with sticky rice in uh, the bamboo and they cook them and there's all different flavors you can have. What's the, what's the flavors, Nat? No, not the flavor, just coconut with the sticky rice and then put in the bamboo. Okay, not saying these ones are not the flavoured ones, but they do do the flavoured ones. They have different ones, but these ones are not the flavoured. They're just sticky rice, and then you can just dip them into whatever you want to dip them into. And of course, a very common sight here at the Thai markets. If you like your insects, you're not going to have to go far to find them. A few stalls not open here tonight. I noticed a one or two. And that is near enough the end of the market. So let me just move down into the light. Lots of choice. Oh, a little burger shop here, selling some burgers. I've already had one today. I don't want another one. 50 baht. And then we've got some belly pork. 
Oh, 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 that looks nice. That looks really nice. Crispy. Uh, is that the, the tail? The pig's tail? Yeah. That looks nice. Looks very delicious, that does. And then, of course, we've got a large car park at the back, and we are literally at the back of the grocery store. Phuket Grocery. So, a very interesting and nice little market to come and check out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this evening's video, this look at the Phuket Grocery Market, which takes place on a, on a Saturday. I nearly said Friday then. It takes place on a Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday evening. It starts around four o'clock, and it's a great place to come and have a look and maybe even do some grocery shopping at the same time. Inside, there's lots of places as well that you can explore, a few shops, shoe shops, etc. So a great place to come and have a look around, really. Well, that just leaves me to say, as always, thanks for watching the video. And until next time, you take care and I'll catch you on the next one.